some health stuff in the central region are uh, faulting uh, health authorities there of not allowing them to isolate for 14 days after some of their colleagues tested positive for coronavirus. According to the health staff, after their samples have been taken, they should be allowed to spend the mandatory 14-day period in isolation whilst they wait for their test results. But health authorities in the region, according to the, uh, in the region actually on the back of this story, have discounted the claims of the health workers saying they can't allow all health workers to stay at home just because some of their colleagues have tested positive for the virus. Richard Kujunyako has been investigating and has this report. But if something is going contrary to the known protocols. Meet Akosia, as I have chosen to call her. She's one of the house staff I mean, whose sample has been taken after 19 of her colleagues at the Elmina Polyclinic tested positive for the virus. The sheer numbers of health staff who've tested positive for the virus in her facilities case, not only her, but other colleagues so of less hers. less than a week, they are asked to retain when results are not even available. Results of their samples taken is not available, but they are being asked to retain. She just returned to work. Whatever reason, we don't know. I'm sure where the directive came from would have the answers, but we don't know what the reason is. We can't be sure because it's still a new virus. Studies are still being done on it, so we can't just take anything for granted. That is our concern. Akusia seems disturbed about how long it takes for results of test samples to be given, with some taking as long as 13 days. The biggest fears of Akusia and her colleagues are that they've been told by authorities to return to work while they wait for their test results, contrary to the expectation of spending 14 days in isolation. So the first people, it took more than a week before the results came. Mostly it's been taking quite some time. And it's quite scary because you have to go back to your homes. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. We have so many other contacts. And even our other staff that were not primary contacts, we, we are concerned about them. And also about the clients who are coming to the facility thinking everything is okay, but we don't even know our, you know, status yet. But we are being asked to return to work. But the KEA Municipal Directorate of Health, where the Almina Polyclinic falls and that debunks the claims of the health workers. Kathy Amper Bryant clarifies the situation. Um, what happened was that we had an enhanced surveillance as a district. You know, we had the very first two cases. When we had it, um, we were trying to manage it. Then the directive came from the regional health directorate from our bosses up at the regional health directory that we should do enhanced surveillance as part of the activities to, you know, in the fight against this pandemic. So as a municipality, we planned towards this end. We had a target of about 800 samples to take. So out of it, we also included that of our health workers. So in this wise, all the health workers were also screened. So the enhanced surveillance didn't extend to only the community members, but even the health workers as well. So the results came and out of it, we had quite a number being positive. So those people were immediately isolated, and then their immediate contacts were all seen, and their samples have been taken to Noguchi, as I'm talking to you now. As the results came as a result of the enhancement. So they've all been screened already, and we know their status. So their status is negative. They are negative. It is out of the, the, the enhanced surveillance that we have some being positive and some being negative. So the positive one have been isolated and the negative one keep on working. We don't, we don't have any health worker whose samples have been taken and still are waiting result. It is the positive cases whose first and second follow-up samples have been taken. And they are already at home. So they are supposed to come to work. So this issue of this in um, the samples have been taken and is neg um, we have not received the results and we are asking them to come to work. No, that is not it. But of course we are in COVID. But healthcare needs to continue. The people out there that need to be attended to. We cannot say that because of COVID, okay, then let's relax the system a little. Then people will not be rather will not be dying of COVID, but will be rather be dying of uh, the, the usual sicknesses that we have, like the malaria, like the typhoid, like the you know, um, the other sickness, diarrhea and all that. Regional Secretary of the Ghana Nurses and Midwives Association, Alfred Adi, says the Nurses and Midwives Association has received such complaints from some of their members and they will do everything possible to protect the lives of their house staff and that of their associates. Once you have not seen your results, some of them, they, they just say you are caught, but they never see these results. 
go back to work, and they go back to work. For some people, they have not even seen anything. Second sample was taken three weeks ago, and nothing has been heard. She has started work. As a union, what we are looking out for is that we have made it clear that we are not going to superintend over their demise. So any action that we need to take to make sure we protect them, we will do so. Deputy Central Regional Health Director, Dr. Godfred Kwabina Sapon, explains the Regional Health Directorate cannot close the entire health facilities down simply because many of the health staff want to sit at home. If those in the morning shift, uh, somebody have been confirmed as having COVID-19, and so their contacts have been asked to isolate home and not work. Those in the evening shift or in the afternoon shift cannot make the same argument unless they are contacts of, um, of uh, a confirmed case. But if they want to stretch the argument and say that, well, although we are not in the same shift, but, well, they are my friends, and so I should also be tested and be asked to isolate. Essentially, we can stretch the argument to cover all the stuff. Every person then would have to isolate. And that, 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 that would mean that well, the facility would have to close down. Dr. Sapon assures there are enough PPEs at the regional medical stores for her staff in the region, and upon request, the facilities would be supplied. For Joy News, Richard Kwejo Nyakon reporting.